Good morning everybody. Myself Vishwan, I am the founder of Optimal Success Strategy. Let's discuss the relation between electric field and potential. So, let there are two points A and B. And uh, the displacement between these is vector D. So, we have the difference of potential energy as the work done by electric field. And work done by electric field is F dot dl. The force is Q into E. So, we have the difference of potential energy as Q into Va minus Vb. And this is Q into E dot dl. So, finally, we have this result minus Vb is E dot dl. Suppose that the angle between electric field and uh, displacement is phi. So, we have minus Vb is E dl cos phi. Now, for perpendicular directions, this phi is 90 degree. So, cos phi will be 0. That means dv will be 0. That means V is constant. So, which means that it is called the equipotential surface because potential is constant over there. Next is for parallel direction phi is 0. So, minus dv is 0 dl, e dl. So, e is minus dv by dl which is negative slope of vl graph. Now, let us analyze the vl graph. Suppose vl graph is like this. I draw tangent at point m. Suppose the tangent makes an angle theta with, uh, in anti-clockwise sense and alpha in clockwise sense. So, we have electric field as minus dv by dl which is minus 1. dv by dl is either tan theta or minus tan theta. So, these are the results. If theta is acute, tan theta will be positive. That means E will be negative. That means electric field is toward minus L axis. If theta is obtuse, that means tan theta is negative, which means electric field is positive. That means towards plus L axis. If theta is 0 or 180, tan theta will be 0. That means electric field will be 0. So, in this way, you can interpret the graphical relations between electric field, the direction of electric field by analyzing the graph of potential difference and distance. I hope you understood the result. Thank you and have a nice time.